Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Dark Souls 3. So I actually have a different weapon here, as you'll see. This is the Gargoyle Flame Spear. Um, it is upgraded. It's actually pretty damn solid. Uh, I also went and grabbed a few levels purely for vitality, so I could equip the Dark Sword and the Flame Spear and still be under 70% weight while using the Fire Witch Armor. Uh, I also went back through Irithyll Dungeon because I'd forgotten I had the jailer keys and there was stuff to get there. Um, there were some ashes there that actually gave the ability to buy Carla's set, so. what it looks like. It's actually kind of nice looking. Um, in that, you know, kind of like Dark Sorcerer sort of way. I'm going to stick with the Fire Witch for now, um, just because it's a little sturdier for physical attacks, but we have a giant to kill, theoretically. So let's go back to the profane capital. Now, I actually ran through here a bunch of times. Seems like a pretty good place to farm for this point in the game because if you use the rusted coins, which the uh, the white-robed jailers drop, uh, they tend to drop that dagger a ton. And those daggers are worth a thousand souls apiece if you sell them. So you can actually rack it up pretty damn quick. Um, not too much trouble. So I'll probably be using this spear for my fire weapon from now on, but I uh, probably won't see it too much this episode only because we have to use the storm ruler against the boss as far as I can tell. It's got kind of a uh, charge attack, and I'll be trying to use that against the boss, and we'll see how this goes. But we do have to make our way back down there while fighting these jokers. I did switch out my spell as well. Um, I am using the, the medium heal now instead of the, the regen. Fortunately, I can't really afford to use it um, because I'm going to need all of that FP for the boss. What I'm probably going to do is go with the, uh, the dagger and the storm roar, so that way, if I run out of FP on the boss, I should be able to theoretically get some back. Uh, there's also kind of an interesting thing too, is I found out that the dagger, if you put it in your offhand, actually has a totally different moveset. Um, you can block with it, but it's got this heavy stab moveset that's uh, seemingly unique. And it also seems to generate more FP per swing than keeping it in your right hand. So that's kind of interesting, kind of nice little touch. So if you were a much better player than I, you could probably keep that in your offhand and just use it to... Kind of fuel more frequent weapon arts. Actually, Will, what I should have done was not actually Estus and waited until I get over here and just embered up, because I do want to ember up for the fight. Um, take out these guys first. Bought these a million times now, but they are a little tricky still. I can kind of catch you off guard. Especially when there's a lot of them together. It's very easy for them to stagger their attacks. I also did pick up one of the uh, the hammers. It's got a pretty heavy strength requirement, but they do drop this, uh, this flame hammer weapon as well. Kind of the interesting thing about the spear, too, is it also seems to work as a light source. It doesn't work as a torch. It won't burn off uh, maggots, but it does work as a torch. Or a light source, at least. You can see, again, you know, like, you get a lot of souls running through here. Um, these enemies aren't that hard. Plus, there's a whole pack down that way you can, um, grab too. So let's Ember up, and I'll switch my weapon right here in a minute. So we'll use the Storm Ruler. Um, boy, I can actually kind of equip both, couldn't I? And can I get equip this as well? I could, just in case, um... I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah, so this is the Storm Roar. Um, I can use the weapon art without uh, switching because I do have that ability on the shield. So we'll see how that goes. Are there any NPCs here? I don't want to summon players, but if there are 
NPCs, I might grab one. And no, it doesn't look like it. I don't see any back here. Unless there was one by the, the torch or something, but I don't think so. Looks like I am on my own for this one. Alright, I don't really know the strategy here, but we're gonna go with it and see what happens. Oh, this is different. Sigurd, what are you doing here? Wait, he has a storm ruler? Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Yom, old friend. I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my promise. Oh, he actually does have a face Let in there. The sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Oh, that's very interesting. Um. Oh god, Sigurd, buddy. Please don't get yourself killed. Oh, he's gonna use the uh, he's gonna use the weapon R2! Oh, this is super cool. Alright, I totally whiffed there. <laughs> uh this is Whoa! Okay, this is this is nuts. I'm digging this. Alright, here we go. Got him. Oh, so, so much damage. Is he already in his second form? Alright, didn't charge long enough there, unfortunately. Alright, Sigurd got him. See if I can grab one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, boy. How's Sigurd doing? Is he hurt? I don't think so. I think he's okay. Man, he is kicking ass, though. See if this will reach. It did. Nice. I don't know if the um, the R2 hits particularly harder, and that is what I'm using though. There we go. We're charged up. Now it seems to be about the same. Good job, buddy. Got him. And Sigurd's okay! Oh, man. Toast to you, buddy. Cinders of a Lord and Soul of Yorm the Giant. And a lot of souls. It seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Oh, that's awesome. May the sun shine. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. <laughs> Of course. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Well, you, you... Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. That makes me feel so good. Is there anything else back here? I don't think so. I never actually paid attention to these carvings in the front of the statues there. Like being crushed under the weight of the throne. It's kind of crazy. So is he? No, he's still there. Um, the question is, where do we go now? Yeah, I'm actually. Oh, no, I remember. Right, out to PvP town. Well, let's go back and see what this soul gives us first, and we can uh, put the cinders there and everything.
a lot of souls too, which definitely... Well, let's see what this gives me first and then I'll probably level up. Where is... Aldrich... Yorm. Must be this one all the way over here. You know, the biggest throne, the kind of the most obvious one. Oh, that's morbid. Well then. Oh, Alright, what do we got here? So I could get... Yorm's Great Machete? Or Yorm's Great Shield? Well, neither of these I will probably ever use. Um, if I was going to use one or the other, though, I would probably use the, um, the shield. So I'll just grab that. Treat the shield. And we'll grab a level up. Welcome home, speak very well, then take me. Let's see, I have enough, um... Boy, I could go straight to the 30 Vitality just to kind of nip that in the bud, not have to worry about that anymore. Um, I mean, it does give me defense, too. I'll go Endurance for now. Farewell, Ashen Maiden. So let's see, we're going to... Here, I believe... I hadn't found a... Yeah, I don't believe I had found a, um, a bonfire after that. Yeah, because I think if we go out this way, or is it this way? <laughs> I got this other lizard, right? Yeah. There's the, the million signs. Call now if I ever um, finished exploring up in this direction. You remember these guys? This is what I wanted to grab here. There we go. Boy, that one is, uh, very oddly shaped, we'll say. It takes a lot more damage, too. It does fall down. These guys aren't that bad, though. Alright, well, here we go. Someone's coming after me. Way back there, huh? Not open from this side. Well, that's a bummer. Ah, oh, that that guy back there is gonna be trouble. Speaking of trouble, holy cow! He 
it's a little problematic. I am way outclassed here. Oh, especially if there's two of them. I thought I was gonna get the backstab there. Oh, this is this is going poorly. Yep. Yeah, I, against two of them, I don't think I have much of a chance. Ah, this guy's got the uh, machete. Yep, 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 yep. Well, at least I can't be invaded uh, here. I do need to just pause for just a second. Alright, let's see if I can make a little bit of progress here. At least I won't be invaded now. Just, oh, jeez. Unless I really want it to be, apparently. This kind of seems like there's two paths to go, kind of a lower and upper path. Um, I guess I'll go back the way I was going, just so I can make sure to grab those souls. I heard that fireball coming for me. There we go. So I can block most of this, fortunately. It's not ideal, but at least it's uh, helps me kind of advance without taking too much damage. Oh, this guy gets super aggressive, apparently. Oh no! Oh, they make, like, weird chanting sounds, too. There seem to be, like, three different classes of them. I know a couple of them only take two hits. This is quite the gauntlet here, though. Yeah, like these guys only take two hits, the really short ones. Uh, what are those? Oh my. Who are you guys? Using dark, if I uh, could safely change my shield, I might consider it. Oh man, these guys are very, very aggressive. There we go, there's one. I wonder if they drop their weapons. There is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Twin Spears. Oh, the other one didn't, but first one did. Oh, okay. All right, we don't want to be out there. Noted. Those giants down there, we kind of just sidestep them, though. Secret passage ahead. Oh, there is actually a secret passage ahead. How about that? This goes way down. Way down. 
Think carefully. Oh dear. Oh boy. Human dregs. We get two of these guys. Oh, I got electrocuted there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that should be the last jump cut for this episode. Apologies for that. A little combination of trouble with my uh, recording and making sure that everything is going smoothly here. Uh, I guess I'll go back down. I was thinking like maybe I shouldn't go back down that ladder, but a uh, curiosity I have is I wonder if I can just dash across the courtyard here um, and skip through having to fight all of those deacons again. Oh, they are going to start firing. That's fine, though. I also kind of wonder if any of those giants in the center uh, drop anything. Maybe like a one-time deal. Now I kind of just want to get back to where I was. Um, I would like to Ember, but I think it's just too risky out here. This definitely seems to be kind of PvP central. Um, I'm assuming this area down here is not too in-depth. Um, I'm a little concerned about the lightning damage happening, though. I don't know how long these last, but... Well, that's a good start. Get a little bit of damage, at least. Alright, here he comes. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, this is where the problem lies, because I guess I can block it a little bit. I also don't want him to uh, back me up into that other one. I feel like the second one will be a lot easier to fight. I won't be so concerned about staying in a really nasty corner. Oh! Man, these guys hit hard. Holy cow. I can't roll through that. Noted. I mean, I don't know why I would be able to, but... Definitely remind me very much of the, uh... Well, Sith, for one thing. But also the, uh... The giant rat from 2. I kind of struggle with the giant rat. Not so much Sif, even though you think you know, it's kind of the same thing. All right, here comes round two. Not gonna get any free damage on this one. Hopefully I don't get hit here. I wanted to... I'm not sure how much that helps, but worth trying. It seems like his body in general does damage too, so that's kind of what's breaking my guard really easily here. Oh, that actually... Oh, that's interesting. So I can actually block the lightning by just uh, make. Oh, wow, that one shot me. That's a bummer. Hopefully these don't respawn. Um, hmm. These are tough. I feel like there's probably a better way to do this, too, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Well, at least I know I can get back there pretty quickly. Tempted to try the fire spear, but I don't think they're weak to fire. It might just kind of leave me open, but I don't know, we'll see. The advantage there is I at least could just sit behind my shield for a lot longer. Be 
many souls did one of those give to? It seemed like it gave a ton. Was it actually 20,000 or am I just thinking about it wrong? Alright, the other one doesn't respawn, thank goodness. Even if I can get one or two hits off here, something. That's pretty good. Man, that just hits for so much damage. Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> I think I got caught by one of his, uh, his ribs there or something. Boy, how the hell do I kill this thing? I guess I will try the fire spear. could I do there? A hundred percent sure. Being embered would be a huge help, but if I get invaded there, I am just super dead. That's a, that's a nice strobe effect. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alrighty. Round three. Oh, jeez. Bad start. Man, that's almost a full guard break immediately. Oh, this is the attack that I was talking about previously. Yep, yeah, that's death. <laughs> Give me one of those episodes. Hmm. I wonder if there's a better spot. Ah, I don't really think so. I can also try just using ranged attacks, but I'm not sure I could get away every time without um, without a shield. I think I would get caught. I mean, I suppose at this point it's kind of, you know, just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, but I think, hmm, I don't know. Oh, angered one of the giants. Far away can I hit this guy. A little bit of fall off on the damage there, but... Yeah, if you would keep just running into uh, walls, that would be fantastic. All right, wasn't quite like <laughs> wasn't quite close enough there. It's the lightning. Ooh. All right, that's the the pincer attack, I think. I think this weapon is too slow. Um, it's very, very quick. 
think my, my best option here is actually to catch him while he's doing the lightning attack. Killer does okay here we go. Alright, that that kinda works. The pillar is, is definitely helpful. I'm gonna waste a uh, flask here, but there we go, so he's gonna do that again. Nope. Oh, shoot. Thought I was still in there. How much health does he have left? If I can get a lock on here, there we go. Well, this is pretty cheap, but I mean, it's, if it gets the job done. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, Ring of Favor. Okay, it was only 13,000 souls, so I was way off on that. Uh, what does Ring of Favor do? Whoa. Increase HP, stamina, maximum equip load. Holy cow. This is like a super ring of Havel. How much, um... Oh, it's not nearly as good as, uh... This ring of Havel. Gives me about 10 stamina and... 28 HP, though? Ah, it's not bad. I don't think it's really worth the slot right now, but... Oh, there's a bonfire down here. What? Deep gem. Let me light this and see what's in the corner over there. Yeah, what is this? This looks like one of the deacons, but... Who are you? Are you friendly? Are you dead? Archdeacon McDonald. Oh, this is a covenant. Sure. This must be the Aldrich Faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So that's what the human dregs are. Okay. Well, that explains why all those people are around here doing the PvP thing. Well, I think that'll, um, I'll pause here for now since I do have a bonfire and got past that. And the next time we'll continue through and see, uh, See what the heck we're doing in this other area here. Still in this Irithyll area. But uh, yeah, so that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon.